Good morning. It is K. And it's Gogo. And we are in Lanaka, Cyprus. Wow! What a lovely day as well. Yeah, it's a beautiful day and a beautiful morning. And are you looking forward to spending the day with us here? We're going to taste lots of amazing, yummy Cypriot foods and discover what Larnaca has to offer. Yeah. So let's get started by finding somewhere where we can have a delicious, yummy breakfast. What are you buying? Cypriot sweets and sandwich. Mm. A couple of the names, they look so good. So in here, they've got a huge selection here in this bakery and we've picked a couple of Cypriot delights to taste out. What a difficult job we've got this morning. And here we've got a beautiful square and it's called Europe Square. And it's got lovely buildings, hasn't it, Gogo? Yeah, they're like really old and they kept really good up to date. Behind here we've got sort of like a municipio, which is like a town hall, an administrative town hall. And here we have got a statue of... Zinonol Kitiai. We think you pronounce it like that. And he was a philosopher. We don't know much about him, so apologies. If you know, you can let us know in the comments. We're going to be completely honest, but we don't know much about Cyprus at all. Uh, because we only came here for the Cypriot food. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> but here we've got the marina where you can see all the boats. And this is really pretty, just at this side. So maybe a good stop where we can go and have some brekkie. Mm. And have a little look how the other half live in their yacht. So it seems to be that here in Cyprus, in this area, definitely, it's very multicultural, which we love. Oh, we've got some exercise machines here. Gogo's walking the opposite direction. <laughs> Gogo does enough exercise while eating. Yeah. <laughs> and it's very multicultural. I know that there's a lot of um, British people come and retire here uh, because the weather's good, you can see compared to the six degrees back in the UK, um, the weather's really nice. Yeah, about and 25 now. Yeah, we stopped off here because we got cheap flights from Abu Dhabi. Um, so we got cheap flights and it breaks up the journey for me not sitting still so long. And also we don't get jet lagged as well yeah. on a long flight. Yeah, so we can definitely go and have a seat somewhere and show you some of the boats, yeah. So obviously we're winging it today. We know nothing about the history. We know nothing about what we're going to look at. All we do know is that we're going to eat. Sounds familiar. As long as the food good, the so, place is good for yeah. me. <laughs> and this is really pretty. It is, yeah. And tables set up just for us, go go. Yeah, there's no one else for us. Prohibited security. Oh, I'm sure they're not going to mind Kay and go go sitting here. Okay. having some food so it looks as though this says marina market here so obviously we out and about very early because we tend to get up and get out early so nothing's open but i would imagine this is a really nice atmosphere later on they've got ice cream parlor they've got different desserts um yeah and mulled wine Hot dogs. Chestnuts. So I would imagine it's a really cozy area, would you? Yeah, definitely. When they open, they're going to have lots of food and smell. it's going to smell wonderful as well. But what have you got? What did you get at the Vegas? I got food from the bakers. Ooh. We have. Tahini and ketchup shrimp pie. Pie, wow. Tahini 
we all know tahini made from sesame seed, but kerb shrewd, yeah. which is something we like in Turkey as well. And Eating. I introduced K, the yeah. kerb as well. It's so delicious and so healthy. And this is made from kerb shrewd. Yeah. And for the main course of my breakfast, of our breakfast, we have this incredible halloumi cheese pie. Halloumi is originated from Cyprus. We love halloumi back in UK. But one thing K should know, halloumi is gonna taste totally different than what we have in UK. So, may I? Yes. Oh. Ooh. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. So even though it says pie, it's in between a pastry and like a bread, is it? Yes, it's like a big sandwich, but it's just like thick pastry bread, but it they call it. delicious. <sighs> Smell next level. Oh. I haven't even tasted, but you know, there is a really powerful olive oil smell on it. Yeah. It's like proper olive oil. Olive is famous in Cyprus as well mm. as the halloumi. So let's just taste this beauty mm. instead of wasting so much time. <laughs> <laughs> they are really generous of the amount of the halloumi they put in here. As I said, halloumi tastes totally different than what we had in England. This is absolutely amazing. You get the olive oil and olive taste, as well as the halloumi's, this chewiness, mm. soft but chewy in your mouth. It just like not proper melted, which is like best part, the best way to eat halloumi. And also this one has some parsley as well in it. Mm. It is so delicious, simple, but so delicious. Yeah. The smell is amazing. Mm. That's incredible. It's kind of crunchy. I think it's been brushed with some egg when they cooked it. The halloumi has got a really nice, strong taste to it, which I love. And also as well, I can taste onion on there as well. Tiny little onion. But exactly what Gogo said about the olive oil, because I couldn't smell the olive oil, but as soon as I bit into it, I can taste a really good quality olive oil. This is a really good breakfast dish. Mmm. Tahini and carob syrup. Wow. I wasn't expecting that kind of texture. I was. Were you? Yeah, because I know the carob syrup. Mm -hmm. It is kind of in Turkey, we say tahin pekmes. Yeah. When you mix them, you get this smell and you get this texture. Mm. Carob shrub is very common. Like a natural, natural sugar. Natural sugar. Very common in Turkey, Cyprus and Greece area. Because we have that carob trees around this area. Mm. And we might as well use it. So this is the best combination. That's tasty. Smells like exactly what carob and tahin mix to me. Mm. Does taste gonna be like? I am so sorry. I am so sorry, Cyprus. You might call it tahini, carob strip. But you know what is this for me? Tahin Pekmes. This is what it is. And I absolutely love tahini and carob shrub. Mixed together, just dip your bread in. I absolutely love that.
and this is like a baked version. Baked version, it's so delicious. You know what, this is next level. Thank you Cyprus for making something like this and introducing to Food Monster Gogo. <laughs> I'm excited because anybody that knows me knows that I love sweet things and this apparently um, so the carob I can smell it we love to eat them just the carob sticks and chew them they're quite chewy but we love them me and Gogo when we go to Turkey and this here is crunchy and sticky and that's because of the sweetness from the carob that gives it this dark color I am excited <laughs> wow absolutely wow the tahini the carob together the texture the outside stickiness this is amazing like not just a little bit amazing this is my kind of food amazing mm. and here we've got lana kapia Gogo's fish spotting. Aren't you, Gogo? There are lots. And lots of people's boats and yachts. And it's a beautiful, beautiful pier. A nice sight. It looks as though there's a great big cruise ship out there as well, Virgin. And this looks as though this must be the beach. You've mm. got people playing volleyball, keeping fish. And the beach right the way across, which we will be walking up there. Beautiful, isn't it? Looks really good. Very, very nice. Mm. So I don't think Larnaca is actually very big. So a few days is probably enough time to be here. This is like a long promenade. There is hotels on the right. Lots of restaurants and cups. You can get ice cream, drinks, slush and a lovely beach where there is like tennis court as well as the volleyball court everything you need is actually on this beach we are so lucky to be here mm. we were just saying it's a better than our expectations it is yeah yeah we like it we absolutely love it a lovely feel it is so nice it's really it's still what? early in the morning but yeah. it's getting really busy isn't yeah. it look at this possibly only just after nine o'clock yeah but you know what I fancy, Kay? What? Some nice Cypriot coffee. Mm. That will be nice. That's On the hunt for a hand. coffee now. Hmm. Coffee hunt. Here we go. So you might think what they do in. And we're here at the Church of St. Lazarus. And we're gonna have a look inside, but we've got shorts on, so brilliant idea. They've got these type of skirts that you can put on. And hold it, so you won't fall down. Can you not fasten it? <laughs> <laughs> and this is, really is a beautiful square and church in here. Very impressive. So this is the tomb of St. Lazarus. Wow, 
Not quite sure which one it is. low down here first time ever I do this mm. I never did that before you say a little prayer on the laces And there's also a museum as well, which is one euro to get in, which is outstanding. But unfortunately, it's closed maybe because it's Easter weekend. But what a beautiful, beautiful church this is. I ordered Cypriot coffee. It smells absolutely delicious. But it came with ice cold water and spinach pie. And popcorn. Wow. I'm shocked. I want to taste this coffee. Yeah, I want to know what the coffee's like. Exactly the same as Turkish coffee. I absolutely love it. So delicious, so creamy. It's very, very strong because I didn't ask for sugar. I don't like sugar in my coffee. It's plain, strong coffee better than espresso and it's one of the nice things when you come to uh, European countries when you get nibbles when you order a coffee or a drink yeah you get the nibbles oh. spinach pie are you gonna give you a go yeah mm. spinach is one of our favorite vegetables crunchy pastry outside inside is soft the spinach is marinated to perfection it's got some cheese in it as well i'm guessing probably it's halloumi as well but it's like a grated what's that cheese we use on the parmesan? grated like parmesan taste of parmesan taste of cheese it's so delicious i wasn't expecting this to be honest let me try this coffee that is good coffee yeah cyprus we're returning yes yeah this was like Turkish from here, all Turkish area. Oh, yes, I didn't know. Before the troubles, seventies. Yes. Yeah. You gonna? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Before the troubles, yes, okay. Yes. Before the troubles, this was Turkish people here, and there were uh, three families, Greek families, and all Turkish here. My family. I was a kid. And I grew up with Turkish friends and play with Turkish friends. And uh, we were fantastic. Happily ever after, was it? Happily ever after. And then these pastors in the government, the liars, for profit, they mixed up, they mixed up, they mixed up, because we are all the same and our Turkish friends. And I was speaking, growing up, speaking. Uh, uh, Turkish, because I was small, playing with Turkish. Yeah, community in Turkey. Yes, yeah, so and I used to go to my mother, Anne, Ekmek, Anne. Ekmek. <laughs> mom, bread, Anne, Ekmek, <laughs> Anne, su. su, water. Yeah, so I have good memories. Oh my. And then, and they were the same on this side. They were Turkish living, Turkish. Uh, this is a Greek side. This is Greek side. But Turkish living there, and again, they were like brothers. They were like brothers. Cyprus was good. Everybody was living like brothers. But then, the big people, politics. like politics. always, politics. politics. Even they more up, They mix up. They mix. They stir the things. And around. they they made people enemies. But I'm not enemy to nobody. And it's one thing there is. Bad Turks and good Turks. 
There is bad Greeks and good, good Greeks. Yeah, Everybody in the there is good English, bad, bad English. English. Yeah, the it's bad so ones true. are unfortunately more powerful yeah, because the, they know the how to stir they things They know up. how to yeah. stir. Yeah. Anyway, you have a nice... Uh, thank you. What's yeah, your name? Thank you. Uh, Andreas. What's your name? Andreas. Andreas. My name is Google. Nice to meet you. And my wife is Kay. Nice to meet you. Thank <laughs> hey. you so nice much to meet for you. the lovely Nice to meet you. Yeah. That's good. We love that story. We'll remember it. Yes. We'll yeah. remember anyway, it. Anyway, you have a nice time. Ah, thank, thank you. you. Take care. First time in Cyprus? Yes, first time. Yes, and not the last time. What? Not the last time. Not the last time. Yeah. Yes, people are friendly. And here we've got... The Jamil Kemil Mosque is actually a Turkish mosque in here in London. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. And it was beautiful. so lovely meeting that local who... Yeah. ...originated from here, lives in London now, but was telling us the story of how he grew up here with the Turkish people. This that was, was the Turkish street, apparently. Yeah. yeah, it was really nice. Over here we have the fort. So the beautiful Turkish streets, the wonderful mosque and also we've got a 12th century medieval castle here and that is in fact a museum. It's €2.50 if you want to go in and you can have a look around the medieval museum. And this is we are on Eski Tashari Street, means Old Stone Street. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be fair coming to Cyprus and not having this beauty. Giros. Look at this. You got chips, you got salad, you got beautiful pita bread and garlic sauce and of course chicken. And chickens. It is ap It smells so fresh. And sunshine helps as well. Wow, so this is all wrapped in a pita. Yeah. And this, is this Cypriot or Greek? It's... Both? Yeah, I'm not going to make any comments. It's Cypriot and Greek and Turkish, we all share this beautiful dish. In here in Cyprus, it's called Kiros. They have this mayonnaise, which is garlic, it's tzatziki kind of mayonnaise, yogurt with garlic and mint and cucumber, and you got like fresh onions, parsley, tomatoes, cucumber, chicken, chicken in a lovely pita bread. So shall I just taste it now? Yeah. Shall I just go for it? Mm -hmm. oh. Look at this. Wow. Is that big enough for... Oh, Gogo doesn't waste the food. Is it big enough for Gogo? Is it big enough? Let's have a, let's have a small bite. Oh. Can I just say something, my friend? You certainly can. Mind them fingers, because they won't grow again, <laughs> all right? They will not grow again. I thought he was going to bite his hand off. They won't grow again. You're going to end up like that. That's, that's me being told that Michael is going to be on YouTube. <laughs> that was a small bite, by the way. <laughs> that was a small bite. Small bite. See what you like when you're really hungry. Yeah. My you Lord. don't want to see. That was scary. Let's, let's, let's see a big bite. Let's see a big bite, Michael, and we'll see your reaction. Yeah. Let's go in for a big bite. Oh my <laughs> Lord! Mind those fingers! Oh, oh God! <laughs> Oh God, that is scary. You should have a license for that. Mike, you don't Do I have to say anything about this Giros? Of course not. <laughs> I think you can all yeah, see. How delicious is that? Proper chicken. Not marinated much. 
just lightly marinated with the peppers and purees and some oreganos as well in there. And the tomatoes and onions and cucumbers so fresh, they just crunch in yeah. your mouth. Oh, and the delicious. bread is so fresh. I am looking forward to tasting this. It is absolutely smelling delicious. Hmm. Michael approves <laughs> of the gyros. <laughs> I could be the director of this. You group. could, Michael. <laughs> I think you need to be our director. Travel around the world with us. These pickled chilies are delicious. They're not spicy, but they're pickled to perfection. I could eat a bucket load of them. <laughs> but this, with the salad and the chicken and the gyros, the garlic mayo. <laughs> The food here in Cyprus is not disappointing. Mm. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. In you go. Oh, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Star billing. <laughs> What an absolute beauty Larnaca is. The food is amazing. The town is peaceful. Crystal clear sky and sunshine and beautiful sea. We had an amazing time here in Larnaca. How about you, Kay? What do you, what you got to say? I would say, Gogo, that we have really enjoyed our time and our stop over here in Larnaca. And certainly we don't regret stopping instead of going back to England, but it's back to England now for us. But very shortly, all I can tell you is be prepared because we have some amazing, really exciting travels coming up for you. If you've got this far, thank you so, so much for supporting us. Thank so you so much for following our journey. And if you could... Can you please subscribe, like and comment and also hit the bell button we're gonna go and spend the rest of the day on the beach now that's a hard life yeah what a hard life what a hard life, what a hard life. don't we... show the people the beach please yeah don't. we're so lucky don't show anyone the beach please <laughs> don't show anyone the beach no. so it's bye from no. it's bye from gogo and, and a beautiful bye from the beach, beach.